welcome, Cancer, to your beginning of the month reading for April. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. You guys haven't watched the Astro Dice yet. Please, you might want to watch that. Have some great things coming this month. Okay, let's get straight in here, my friends. Let's see what's going on in your energy. This is what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. message for cancer please Best message for cancer April right there what do we got nine of cups Ooh, feeling the success coming in knowing that you put in the hard work and you're going to be rewarded with the nine of cups you did it it was you so that's great energy And clarifying on the Nine of Cups, this card's not only going to clarify on the Nine of Cups, but the entire reading. Clarify on the Nine of Cups, please. Cancel. Prosperity begins. Nice. So definitely have some achievements coming in, rewards coming in. Like I said, you put out the hard work and it's showing the hard work. It's showing that you have maybe even unexpected rewards coming in that you're not even, you know, 100% aware of. Like, you know, you did great things, but maybe you're not, you know, it's like all the efforts that you put in, here comes this prosperity, whether you know it or not. Like I said, for some of you, it might even be a little bit of a surprise, um, right? Showing the great possibilities and promises of monetary gains. Okay, so this is a time to focus on the most beneficial outcomes for your life, focusing on your work and your abundance. So keep going strong with what you're doing, Cancer, because it is paying off. Okay, definitely paying off. Let's see what's going on with you. Getting straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the present, the past, the recent past, and the near future. Of course, the near future is the possible outcome. Remember, nothing is written in stone. If you decide to stop working hard or whatever it is that you're doing, your prosperity could drop, right? And remember, the prosperity begins card can also be no prosperity as well, right? So remember the negative and the positive. Okay. Okay, let's go. Right now, though, it's beautiful, so. Present, please. Present, recent, past, and new future, please, for cancer. And it feels like one more, my friends. Feeling that Ten of Pentacles coming in. Wow. There it is. Money, money, money. Success. Right? Loving that. In the recent past, you have the Four of Pentacles. It looks like you might have been holding tight to some money. You might have been saving money. However it is, you were gripping that money. <laughs> gripping onto that. Nine of Cups, and now you have that Nine of Pentacles coming in. Wow. So now you have the Nine of Pentacles. So it's showing not only huh, do you have your Nine of Cups, but now you're going to have that Nine of Pentacles in the in the near future too, saying this almost the same exact thing. Look at what I've done. Look, I did this for myself. I held on to the money. I put in the hard work. Um, maybe you were even being a little, you know, frugal, tight with the money. So that way you could have money. Maybe you didn't really have a whole lot of money, so you were like, hey, you know what? I need to hold tight to this. So let's see what's going on over here with the four. Some people might even see you as a little greedy, Cancer. Hey, can you loan me a dollar? No. I'm saving money for something. 
And maybe it's for travel. Maybe you want to travel or you want to buy something for yourself. Look, you have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is showing for the, the Nine of Pentacles. So maybe you're actually trying to save money for something, right? You're doing something for yourself with the Nine of uh, Pentacles and the Nine of Cups showing this is for me. I put in the hard work. This is my reward. Okay. Four of Pentacles. I fight on the Four of Pentacles, please, in the recent past. Yeah, definitely. Getting out of the Ten of Swords and also getting out of the Four of, or the, excuse me, the Six of Coins. Six of Coins. Well, you know what? That's it. It was like, you know, I know I need to be frugal with money. I know I need to put all those hard work out if I want to get to my Nine of Cups. I want to have the satisfactions and the prosperities. Um, okay. So with the Ten of Swords, like, well, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be in this hurt. So, you know, there's a tempor uh, temporary success going on no matter what. So you worked harder. You already had some temporary success, right, in saving money and being frugal. So you just took it to the next level is what it looks like. That's really what I'm feeling. Yeah, well, I'm going to take it to the next level, see what I can do with this. So. And yeah, you have a little hoarding. Like I said, you might have been a little greedy with it. Okay. But it's, you know, it's a person. It could even be perceived that you were greedy. Maybe you weren't even greedy. You're like, no, me holding on to money doesn't mean that I'm greedy. It means I'm doing something. So, like I said, others could have perceived you as being a little greedy. So hoarding. Saving too much and they don't want you to save money. Maybe they don't want you to save money. I don't know why. So. Yeah, because you're patiently planning. You've got plans. You've got things that you want to get done. There's things going on around you that you need to have done, right? I'm not just hoarding this and being greedy. I have plans for this. This is what I need to get done. So, like I said, they could perceive you as being greedy, but that doesn't mean that's what it is. They just don't understand, okay, what you're going after. You're going after something that's going to bring in great joy. Bring in the prosperity begins. Holding tight to these coins, Okay. Understanding the importance of money to, you know, be able to get to where your freedom is, to where you want to be with the nine of pentacles. Maybe, like I said, maybe some of you are holding on to it because you want to travel. And this feels very much like self and, you know, and doing something for yourself, maybe even for your family. But maybe somebody in the family doesn't understand this or a friend doesn't understand this. I still keep thinking somebody thinks you're greedy because they needed to borrow money and you were like, no, they ain't got none. <laughs> Right? And anyways, with this hard work, and whether this is saving money or just working, you know, both, you get the Nine of Cups and you know it because now you see your pinnacles coming in. And with, if you're in, you know, if you're in the United States and you just got a stimulus check, right? Now you have money upon the money you have saved. If you're getting a, um, you know, money back from taxes, now you even have the money saved plus the taxes, plus this, plus that. You see what I'm saying? So it feels like, yes, you have this huge, huge gain um, because you've been kind of like savoring money, right? Putting importance towards the money. So yeah, you could almost feel rich in your head. Hey, I saved, you know, this much money and then I got this much money and then I got this much money and I'm rich in my head. So I know, you know, if, I mean, that that's like, you know, you saving $5,000, be like feeling rich, right? Which is the way you perceive it. It's, you know, not always what it is. Okay, so yeah, you're feeling great. So, clarify on the Ten of Pentacles. It's bringing in a huge transformation. It's also the death of the way you're looking at money. Because remember, you have the prosperity begins and that's showing. How are you perceiving the way you're making money, holding money? Um, so there is this transformation on how you're looking at prosperity um, and money in itself. Yeah, because of the hard work with the three of coins. 
bringing in the nine of coin of cups. There it is again, bringing in the nine of cups, same card. So yes, having this huge transformation in your finances itself, the way you look at money, hold money, save money. I put in the hard work and here's hard work twice. And now I get where I want to be. Wow. Good job, guys. This is going straight over to the Nine of Pentacles. This is like saying, well, look, if I continue to keep this because I had this transformation in the way that I perceive money and hold on to it, I can become the Nine of Pentacles. And you are the Nine of Pentacles. My friends, you're already the Nine of Pentacles. Right? You have the extra cash. You have the extra cash to buy the new wardrobe. Go on the vacation. Drink at the winery. You know, go taste testing at the winery. Have a good time. And knowing you did this, you did it, it was me. And what self-satisfaction is that? Because like we said before, the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups is self-satisfaction. Pat yourself on the back. You did it. And if you continue to keep going strong, like I said before, this will be your outcome. Unless something changes between now and this outcome, you know? Six of Cups. So it could be for some of you memories of actually having money and doing this once before. Uh, maybe there was a time that you had fallen um, away from money. Or maybe it's just because of this whole pandemic thing that we're going through has made us, you know, maybe forget. Um, we've had such falling upon such hard times. Um, within the last just year that maybe now you're having the memories of, yeah, I remember when I, the last time I went wine drinking, you know, at the vineyard, it was, oh my God, you know, it was, you know, 2019, you know, I have, what have I done? And it's kind of like the memories popping up of you having the money, remembering the times that you felt like the nine of pentacles before, right? So there was a time for the majority of you that you definitely felt like this before and it feels like a long time coming. You've really struggled in trying to um, re, kind of like just reiterate money into your life, right? I mean, because even if it was only a year ago, God, just thinking a year ago, you know, I used to have all of this. That's a, it feels like a long time, that's 12 months ago, right? So having that memory. There could also be an ex also, right? Also be an ex coming up. Who's seeing you come up? It might even be two in one, my friends. Okay, they might even be seeing you coming, coming up. Or family members. Someone from your past might be seeing you do good. <laughs> yeah, and it's an ex-lover. You could even have an ex-lover that um, <laughs> sees you doing so well. Wow, what's Cancer doing? How, why, whoa, look at Cancer's new wardrobe. Look at Cancer, Cancer got a new car. Um, what the heck happened to Cancer? Well, they had a huge transformation. And maybe for some of you, you felt like, you know what, I couldn't do this until I got away from this person, right? Maybe this person, that's all they did was, you know, um, expected you to spend too much money on them, blah, 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 blah. And it just feels like maybe once you got away from this person, you have a transformation right and maybe they were holding you back from being who you are but however it is with the lovers doesn't have to be love it's just the memories of love and remembering oh my gosh i remember when i had all this Two of Wands coming in with the High Priestess. So there is some... Whew. What did I say about unexpected resources, right? So you're going to have even more unexpected resources coming in, my friends. Unexpected outcome. A surprise is coming for you. You keep digging deep into your intuition and keep going the way you're going, having the wisdom to keep this money going. And it's almost like you just keep bringing in the, un the unexpected surprises, right? Don't be fearful about anything. Don't allow any fear to come in. Just 
you know, wait for the surprises um, and having unexpected outcomes. So, you know, you want your secret desires and you're getting to the things that you desire um, and you just keep going that way, right? Because with the two of wands, you have unexpected outcomes coming, great ones, yeah, things that are going to lead you to the ace of coins. Wow. But it's going to keep you, you know, and there's balance within this too. So keep yourself balanced for the ace of coins. Don't allow any negative energy to, you know, pop in any time, right? Because there are great things out there for you and new beginnings with the ace of coins. And this is new beginnings of what? Prosperity begins. What is this? Prosperity begins. So very beautiful. You just keep doing it. Keep keeping yourself balanced. Keep your checks. I just keep thinking, keep your checks balanced, right? Watch those statements. Watch that money. Keep that balanced. And you know the balancing app that you've been doing. You save this kind of money. You spend this kind of money. You pay the bills over here. You know what I mean? And you're keeping everything in check. Okay? And do it wisely because it's coming up over here. You keep doing that wisely. More prosperity comes. You're on a great roll. Okay. And let's grab a card for you. Just going to use some, let's use a random deck. Just something fun, right? Let's just use something a little fun. Something a little different. Let's see what the spirit has to say if we just use just some deck. on this for cancer please wow beginning a new cycle that's what it is okay so that's the same as pretty much a world card so that's just telling you the spirit says when you do this you are going to begin a new cycle and it's also the remember a transformation on how you're dealing with money and perceiving money and you're doing a great job, right? Okay, guys, and that was it for you. And until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.